We have been traveling the Philippines now for around two and a half to three weeks and we have been searching for that perfect island that we can just relax on and catch up on all of our editing and all of our working. We finally come across Sikihor. This is one of those islands that we could see ourselves spending a lot of time on and we cannot wait to show you around. Good morning everybody and welcome to Sikihor Island here in the Philippines. I've actually been here about five days already. Um, not been able to do much because unfortunately Andrew split his head open in a cave. I managed to smack my head on the top of a cave. Bleeding a little bit so he's got us some herbal medicine. It's called Hagonoi. Go check out Instagram if you want to follow that story. It was pretty interesting. But we're here now, we're ready to explore. We've got quite a bit to do today. Weather's brightening up a little bit. First order of the day though is obviously to try and find some breakfast. And we know a nice local place called Annabelle's where we're gonna go and find some Tossy Log. One thing I do need to mention before we go for breakfast is some chores for the day. We've actually got a load of laundry to do. I think it's been about a week since we've done it and we are running really low, so. True Philippine style, it's just started chucking it down. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I pulled the bike out. Look who it is, guys! Cheers. Hello! He's <laughs> following us like a bad smell. <laughs> so, once again, this is Tapsilog, which is garlic fried rice. You get fried egg and you get beef tapa. It's like the most traditional Filipino breakfast that there is. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite breakfasts here. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just delicious. It's like sweet, salty, garlicky. So, so good. And we've got some fresh chilies. And a chili. And a fresh chili. Okay, so breakfast is finished. It was absolutely delicious, really, really cheap. Um, now we're gonna jump back on the bike go and drop off our laundry and then head over to Paliton Beach. Okay, so laundry's all done. That costs us 180 pesos. They do have a minimum of three kilos here um, at Emiliana's laundry service, but the lady is super friendly. There she is! <laughs> so we rented a sup board for the next two hours and we're all gonna have a little turn. There are a lot of sea urchins on this beach, so we're just gonna paddleboard out to the deeper water for a little bit. Hopefully the rain stays away, but I'm super, super excited about this. It's been a while. <laughs> See you later. It is hot. We've just absolutely covered ourselves in sun cream and we just picked up a couple of fresh buco or coconuts. These things are really good, really, really sweet. Um, and we might try and get the guy to cut them open once we finish drinking them. These were 60 pesos each, which is like one pound, maybe a little bit less. Really good, really refreshing. And yeah, doesn't come with much of a better view than this, really. So along this beach, we have seen so many people snorkeling in the water, finding sea urchins. Uh, I've obviously, I've had these before in Japan. I've not had them in the Philippines, but it seems to be a different species to the ones that we've had in Japan before. So me, Chili, and even Leanne this time are gonna try these, uh, these urchins. <laughs> From what I can tell, the guy said 10 pesos each, which is a really, really good price. Um, so we've got a spoon, and we're gonna just eat a couple of urchins. We have just been shown the local way to eat these. Apparently, they don't even use a spoon. They use the back of their thumb and they scrape all the meat down into the middle, like that. And then pour it into their hand and then just, mm, mass it up. Really good, really creamy, nice and sweet. 
he said, don't put your lips to the edge in itself because it will make your lips bigger. I presume because it'll sting you and make them swell. Really tasty. I actually prefer it without the vinegar. Just add that one without mm. the vinegar and it's really, really sweet creamy, and really creamy. Really sweet. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can taste the air chin more without the vinegar. We have just figured out what it tastes like exactly. I don't know if any of you have tried fresh cockles. Not the pickled ones you get in jars, like fresh, fresh cockles. It tastes just like those. Um, except they're not gritty and sandy like cockles can be if you don't purge them first. Really delicious. I think so far we've eaten quite a lot of them. <laughs> We're gonna have a couple more. Good. Yeah, we're gonna have a couple more, pay up, and then go and relax back on the beach. Just cut my coconut open, so I'm gonna eat the rest of that as well. It's actually more mild than I thought. It's the chili sauce that gives it the most flavor, I'd say. Very creamy. Let's have another little go. Being really brave here. Mmm. <laughs> like salty. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Salty. Mmm. Interesting, so, yeah. You first ever see urchin out of 10? I'd probably give that a seven. It's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be much sweeter, but um, I think because I absolutely doused it in sauce. But yeah, definitely not as bad as I thought at all. What is some corn lava? That means I Orange. More salt coming through now. I'm definitely more salty. Beautiful view. So we've had a really, really nice day just relaxing and chilling on the beach. Um, we're gonna head back towards our hostel soon and uh, yeah, we'll see you there. Good morning everybody and welcome to Gapnard Guest House. We were staying a little bit further down the road but it was pretty noisy at night so we've decided to come to this place and what a gem, it is amazing. Come and have a look. Firstly, welcome to our own kitchen we have a gas stove a sink places for pots and pans and then the room so first we have the bathroom which is probably three times the size of the last one we then have space for clothes our own huge fridge it's massive air conditioning a big bed which it was pretty comfy actually. Beautiful swan design with the towels. But the best thing about this place is probably the balcony. This is our balcony. We have a hammock, We've got a little seating area for Andrew to do the vlogs, and the sea is right there. Already we know that we love it in this place, so we have the second we checked in extended for an extra three nights. morning guys today obviously is the first day that I have had the stitches out my head in the past five days and the first thing we are doing is heading straight back to the waterfall in which I hurt my head uh, to go back on the rope swing because it was absolutely amazing and yeah I think it's gonna be a good day we're back Bye. <laughs> So excuse the fact that I am absolutely soaking already. I jumped in the water before we started filming. We've come to Lagan Falls. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, it's about 20 minutes away from San Juan. We love this place and we can't wait to get back in the water.
we've just finished up here at Lagan Falls. We're about to go head out and try and find some breakfast and a cup of coffee because we've not eaten yet. Uh, whilst I was taking pictures of Leanne just sitting along this wall here, uh, there was like a huge shoal of doctor fish just nibbling at my toes. Quite raspy, you know, they, they, they proper get in there. Um, I've got some footage, so here they are. And yeah, it's a really cool place. Really glad we stumbled across this the other day, even if I did split my head open. We're gonna go get some food because we're all starving. I've got a dry t-shirt. Yeah. Always so one step ahead. Yeah, <laughs> not like us. So we've come to a little place called Marco Polo. It's right on the beach, as you can see, it is beautiful. It is the most beautiful day today. Super, super sunny, really, really bright. The sun is so hot. This place, I think, does really good pasta, pizza, things like that. We've got a super friendly cat as well. Um, but the coffee here is pretty good, so Chili and Andrew are gonna grab a coffee and I'll grab a cup of tea. Good afternoon again, guys. So obviously we went to the waterfalls this morning. We then stopped off at Marco Polo for a quick cup of coffee and some breakfast. Uh, on the way back, I got my hair cut and we have stopped off, grabbed two big bangus fish, which I have already filleted, scaled and boned. And we're about to go and prep all the veg now because we're having a barbecue on the beachfront later this evening. So this salad is gonna consist mainly of cucumbers, peppers, radish, uh, garlic, tomatoes, and calamansi, which is like a cross between a lime and an orange. We're hoping it turns out nice. Also, this knife is the bluntest knife I've ever used in my life. Barely cuts through a pepper. But, you make do with what you've got. With the tomatoes. So into this, I'm also gonna add probably one clove of garlic and three calamansi juice. Um, we've actually got a full pineapple in there as well. I might add some pineapple into this, but most of the pineapple is going to be put onto skewers to go straight onto the barbecue. Bit of parsley, just for color. And that is our beautiful salad done. Next, we are getting on with the pineapple and aubergine skewers. We got three of these really nice aubergine or eggplants for our people across the pond. Leanne is just making a coconut rice as we speak. The fish is done. I'm gonna leave the baked potatoes up to chili. There's only three of us eating tonight that we're aware of, more people might join us, but we are definitely setting up for a bit of a feast here. So we're ready to take it all down now. Here's the skewers. Andrew's gonna take the salad. So super excited about this. Everything smells so good. And my rice is nearly done. It's just on the pot here. So yeah, really excited. <laughs> salad. We have butter, garlic butter, salad. So we are now downstairs in our little area, right by the beach. We've got our salad here, we've got our skewers here, garlic butter, we've got the rice down here, some beers, and Chili is just about to show us what he's made of and get this barbecue rolling because <laughs> the coal is a little bit rubbish, but it's all right, we live. And we're using cardboard, chipboard, palm fronds, <laughs> and a lighter. So, wish us luck. Come on. What's he after? He's after our lovely selection of food. And it smells good. And that's why the dog came. These here are the beautiful bangus or milk fish that we have, uh, we have bought and I have prepared. We've got two of them. Being bitten by an ant, sorry. I'm in an ant's nest, that's why. <laughs> Look at your so, foot, let me just show you your foot. Ah. <laughs> okay, so word to the wise, don't put your fish above an ant's nest. Um, but these are, the, these are the, the bangus or milk fish that we have. We bought two of these. They cost us 360 peso for two beautiful fish. They've been filleted, butterflied, deboned, and very, very shortly they'll be thrown on that barbecue and drenched in garlic butter. It's been about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, the mosquito coils are all starting to come out because the mosquitoes are out in force tonight. 
I think we've lit about five of them and positioned them strategically around the table, giving it another about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna throw the fish on the barbecue and get eaten. Now the chili has got this barbecue going just right, which I would have rushed by the way and ruined. It's time to put on the fish going on. Wow. Yeah. I am so excited about this. I am starving and the fish looks amazing and the boys have done a really good job. I've basically done nothing. Um, I'm so excited, so, so excited. Standing. So we have our coconut rice with chunks of pineapple. We have our mixed vegetable salad. We have aubergine and pineapple skewers. Not sure how these are gonna go, but we'll give it a go and garlic and parsley butter and potatoes and beer. <laughs> Bit of fish. Billy's just making himself decent. <laughs> Sorry. Dressing <laughs> <laughs> myself for dinner. Leanne is going to be first to try this food. She's just helped herself to a nice big plate of it all and we'll get a reaction now. Let's have a go with the salad first. This has got basically a bit of everything in it. <laughs> Mmm. Wow, that's really good actually. Have you try the fish? Star of the show. Mmm. That is so, so nice. <laughs> I'm desperate to try this potato. The garlic butter. Oh! Mmm. Pretty good actually. Well guys, that dinner was absolutely incredible. The sun has well and truly gone down now. We're gonna basically sit on the beach, have a few more drinks. What a special night it's been already. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this evening. The stars are out. It's so, so clear. A really nice temperature. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy each other's company for the rest of the night and then turn in. Ready for tomorrow? Good evening guys, it is now the following evening. Uh, we didn't film anything today. We went to Peloton Beach and just spent the entire day soaking in the sun. Today is Friday evening, which is important because apparently every Friday evening, Baja Bar, which is down the road, hold an all-you-can-eat lechon buffet. We've been recommended this by a few people who live on the island. So today we're gonna go and see what all the fuss is about. Look how beautiful that sunset is. It's beautiful. So we're actually about 30 minutes early to the buffet. The buffet gets served just behind us. And uh, yeah, apparently, as far as I'm aware, it's, it's a full hog roast and it's all you can eat. So super excited about that. And we get blue lemonade included. Also, before the buffet is served and before we start eating, we want to say a huge thank you to our good friend Lee for basically supporting us on buying me a coffee and buying us dinner tonight. Really, really appreciate it, Lee. Um, I'll also link your channel up above. So once again, thank you so much. Can't wait to meet back up with you again in the UK. And uh, yeah, once again, <laughs> cheers for dinner. Thanks, Lee. Oh my gosh, we are both so full after all of that food. Everything was really, really delicious. We'll tell you more about it when we get back to our apartment. Oh, so, the buffet last night was absolutely delicious. It came to 590 pesos each, which is probably on the higher end of things that we have spent on this island. That being said, there was so much food. There was a huge, huge choice of food. We had both pork and squid adobo. We had the lechon, we had like a whole grilled snapper. There was, there was tons, there was pasta, rice, desserts, uh, Filipino ceviche, it was amazing. But yeah, that is the end of this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also follow us on Instagram, as Leanna said earlier on, because we do post daily stories that are more up to date with the travel vlogs. Uh, but yeah, as I say, we hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video. Bye.